Hi everyone, I'm Lisa. And I'm Jenny. And we are the Shady, Shady Tree Sisters. Sisters. Back with you for our monthly catch up with the lovely Jenny. Hi Jen. Hi. And she's been stitching too, so she's got some things to show us, which is fantastic. And it, some shopping. It's currently the um, Sunday the 7th of November. And so we're at the end of the week, um, but the Monday was the first, so this is the first weekend. So we thought we'd yes. keep to our normal normal schedule and show you what we've been doing. And I'm very unusual this week. So let's start with Jenny. Jenny, what have you been stitching on? Okay, I've done some. Um, I've, I'm not organised enough to have my usual before shots, so we'll just have to make do without them this time. Um, I know I've done some more on this one. This is my little house neighbourhood. Lisa's already finished hers. I think I was filling in, I'm not sure. I know I've done some on this. It wasn't a lot. It was maybe like 150 stitches. Maybe it was just some more green. I think that was what it was. I think it was more green, some more of the green at the bottom. Cool. Um, but but I'm, I'm, I have my needle threaded ready to do. I'm going to start the house that's up here. Oh, nice. So that's, oops, that's that one. Um, I don't want to put it on top of my shopping. That's not a good idea. Do you want to tell us why you got so much done? Um, well, it, so last weekend was the online Mittagong Stitches Retreat, and I had planned to do lots of stitching for that. In the end, I only got to do about 400 stitches because I also had a scalp challenge weekend on the same weekend. So I was busy trying to juggle between scout activities and stitching activities so you did juggle quite well I think I did I did I, d I did enough I did two challenges and I was lucky enough to win one and yeah, Lisa yeah. won one which is really exciting to that in haul, probably. Yes, yes um so yeah, so what I'm showing so far is not from that I don't know why I did the green stitches on that one um this one Maybe you were on Zoom with us one night and you had needed to stick something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I did a little bit more on my castle sampler. Um, this one was no new starts, whatever the Aquarius, uh, not Aquarius, um, Zodiac. And it was for, it was an air sign. And I thought the picture of this, the, the clouds up here look quite windswept. So I thought, you know, that's that's a good a good one for air. So I've done, I've only done half crosses, but from there all the way up and so not not again, not a whole lot, but it's getting a little bit further. Yeah, it's all about touching those whips, Jen. Yeah, and the problem here is the, this is just enough to fit a cue snap and still be able to stitch. So it's yeah, but that's almost the top there's is this the dark row yeah there's one more row of stitching above this to be the very top and that's that's the very bottom mm -hmm. so that's kind of yeah but yes so yeah way, way behind on the alphabet but I kind of gave up on that bit but I feel yeah. like a little bit more stitching because again it was one color it's easy to just sit and go so that's some more of that one. Um, now, this one was for the retreat. This is my Beatrix Potter sampler. So that's what it will look like. And I have done, so I, I think I was about up to, yeah, that's the right way up. I was about up to here. So I've done more of the, the middle circle. So that's, slow going but you know quite visible progress on that one <laughs> yes um it's working on quite solidly and then this one this was i did some earlier stitching this is my um portrait of antique vines this one um my only mirabilia and technically my only full coverage even if it is really tiny uh, I did some for the birthday stitch along for no new starts for the first half of October and then some more. Oh, so the Beatrix Potter, that challenge was you had to stitch something with animals. Mm -hmm. 
So lots of animals in the Beatrix potter. And this one was stitched something with variegated thread. So, so I've done a whole lot more of the, the pink. So um, in the pattern, they've done their stripes in their variegation horizontal. I've been stitching, the way that I stitch is more that it comes out vertical lines. But I like it vertically. Than so I, yeah, originally I was concerned about the dark bit over here, but I think now that I've done some more and it, okay. you've got similar on that side, I don't think it matters. Up higher. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah so yeah, so I, I was, yeah, originally I was worried about the dark oh. being quite an obvious line, but now that I'm getting some of that on the other oh. side as well, I think it's It's actually almost fine, which is good. Yeah. So, so that's the very top of it. That's the very, the limit of it to that side. And that's the limit of it to that side. So, yeah, as I said, it's, it's tiny, but it is full coverage. It does be a big one to be full coverage. Yeah. So that's it. That's all my stitching. And we stitched together for the 24 hours. We both went and joined in on the fun day stitches Zoom. Um, and had lots of fun um, stitching on there for the 24 hours, which kept us busy. I didn't actually talk about the 24 hours when I talked to you guys last weekend, but yeah, I did lots of stitching. Okay, well, what have I stitched on? Not much. I did a little bit, and I'm going back to this soon, mm -hmm. on my spring house trio. Uh, I've done 303 stitches, so you can see I've actually got the house. Ooh roof on him um so this is one of the ones i want to try and finish by the end of the year so he's on my list to come back to <laughs> so i did stitch on that and i am doing my secret model stitch for the next down the rabbit hole magazine which is my summer in australia from that in australia series um, so i can't show you that but just so you know i haven't been too slack i have so far done about 1800 on that wow so it will be finished tonight so I've got to get back to. Um, I'm, I'm guessing possibly yellow and blue for sand and surf, yeah. maybe. I well, that's summer in Australia. That's yeah. what I instantly think of. We spend a lot of summer at the beach. It's it's at the beach. It's hot. It's also um, fairly parched and desert. Yeah. So you know some combination of that. <laughs> and you don't get any fancy instruments, but I'll see if I can insert one. I have a finish. Woohoo! Very scary Halloween mini series from Twin Peak Prim Primitives. That so did I end up quite a bit bigger than you thought. Yeah, so I'd previously done that. You've seen that, and then you've seen that bit. But then I was working on the, the they're super cute, the two witches. I actually changed the colors again because for both these two bits, I had to reinvent a lot of colors because I'm pretty sure the color chart was just for the bottom. Oh. And it had a whole bunch of symbols that weren't in my color chart. So I just like used the colors that were elsewhere in the pattern and changed them around. And I, they had their two witches being identical twins. So I changed their <laughs> colors and their hair and stuff to make it a bit more interesting. I so love their I, chandelier. That's cool. It is really cool. So there you are. So I did um, 2,907 stitches on that. Get it finished. So insert fancy music here. <laughs> Did you like one bell going ting? <laughs> Who knows what I put in. So that, people, is my stitching for the whole week since you saw me last video. I have been incredibly monogamous, which is not sort of my plan for the rest of the year is to try and knock over all these pieces I want to knock over. Coming up, maybe next week, maybe not, you're going to get a video that shows you what I'm planning to start for next year. Have you got yours organised yet or will that be next month? Um, probably next month because I, I, I need to put I need to put an order in. If I'm going to start my um, my HAID, I need to do a CXC order. Fair enough. Um, so I think I need to do that sooner rather than later, otherwise it's not going to arrive in time. Yes. And because I don't have any HAID-sized <laughs> things at the moment, I kind of need to start it before we start next year because otherwise I won't, I'll have a whole another year of not being able to start it. No. So. And, 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 you know, I mean, we do have the 12 days of Christmas coming up for no new starts. So starting yep. on the 13th of December, we're allowed to start things. It actually is 18 days till the new year, but 
you know, the 12 days of Christmas takes you to Christmas. So yes. um, we're allowed to start things then. So that's yes. the plan is get it organised and then I'm going to be doing no new starts again. All right. Have you got any haul, Jack? I do. I do. It's all from the one shop. Okay. Um, I don't know. I might have mentioned last time that I found there were a couple of books. So it's it's technically it's not cross-stitching, but it sort of might. It, it, it's related. Uh-huh. Um so, yes, I'd, I'd seen a couple of books in the Fox Collection catalogue that I quite liked the look of but thought I don't want to pay Fox Collection prices. I found a website in the U- US um, and Connecting Threads, I think it's called, um, and I was able to get both books, including postage, was still like $20, $25 cheaper than right. buying them from Fox. And you got them, which is pretty impressive at the moment since things aren't coming from you. US. Well, that was the thing. It took two weeks. I was astonished. So one of them was one that I'd I'd seen it in the Fox Collection catalog, and then Nikki Noodle, Nikki Noodle Stitching, um, she bought it as well, and 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 flicked through on one of her floss tubes, and so I got to see some of the inside. It's like yes, 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 I really do want that. And that was this one, School Girl oh, Sampler. That nice. Mm-hmm. And then the other one that I'd had my eye on is oh hang on let me try and get this one's even shinier there we go now we can get it with that most of the reflection on it so this is yeah create crazy quilts so you 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 do decorative stitches between each row of lovely and i have a kit to do a crazy quilt christmas stocking and so it's all these beautiful dark reds and greens and golds and yeah um they also had the Oh, hang on, I'll take it out of there. So I thought this could be a zipper pull kind of thing. Oh, definitely. That's very new. Yeah. So, yes, and so, so I, I bought two. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I bought some more material, which may or may not turn into project bags. We'll see. So there's this one. Again, oh. very, very me kind of one. Oh, you want to buy things that are you. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then some panel ones. So there's this one, which has six different oh, okay. panels on it. Uh-huh. Um, where's the other one? Yeah. There we go. Yes, so not quite sure what I'll do with all of these. Embroider over them very nicely. Yeah, and this one, this one I can embroider even more. Yeah, when mm, I don't know which is the right way up. I think it's that way. That way. Oh wow! So it's like a sampler stitch thing for embroider. Yeah, but it's it's just printed on. Yeah, but you yeah so, you embroider over it. It's like yeah. A pencil. Yeah, and it's got oh, the alphabet oh, at the wow. bottom and. That's awesome. Yes. Very nice. Yes. So I'm um, again. So yeah. So th- these two will probably turn into project bags. The other two, I don't know yet, but but they were just so pretty. Well, it's funny because my haul actually fits in really well with your haul, and I didn't even know what your haul is. I happen to get um, a sample of threads from Cottage Garden Threads. Ooh. And I got a nude pack, and it's hard to show you, but. The nude pack is just a whole bunch of beautiful pretties. Oh, without the cardboard. Without the cardboard. Now, the problem is I actually want them because I want to start using them in designs. So I'm going to have to colour match. But they do have a very detailed colour chart on their website. So I will try and match them up. But (laughs) they would be very good for the embroidering you're doing. Mm -hmm. It came with a little patchwork bag that I'm not going to do. But... I think I might give this to the um, No New Starts 2022 prize thing. That's where most nice things that I don't want go. <laughs> so that was my biggest haul. And then I also discovered that um, the needles that Nitty Nat Stitches convinced me to, were, were good, which are Pat Carson's, are not getting made anymore. So I oh. jumped onto JK's and got some. So I got some needles from JK's. Okay. And I've got my um, silk of the month for 
October. Oh, they're very many colours. Those ones. So some of these may end up being in your dress. Who knows? I know you're going red, but you never know. This. Well, no, but the, the blue. My, mine is blue yeah. and mainly blue with the the one the pinky red next yeah. to it. Pretty much yeah, those that. Two. That would work. Yeah. Yep. So for anyone who doesn't know, the Shady Tree Stitchers are doing um, well. We're doing a stitch along, and there's seven of us that are participating. The the seven that mostly come to the retreat, um, and we're doing to do the cross stitch nation by heartstring sampling, and we are going to each wear each one of the people. So we're not round robining or anything like that where we're switching the stitching, but we are going to stitch it. And I just today. Um, finished organising some fabric that I've dyed for it. So the girls are picking their colours that they want to do. And, yes, we, I was asking them what colour dress would they like to be in because I'm going to do mine in silks for you with all these mm. left, like oh, leftover silks, un, you know, uncatalogued silks. So it's going to be nice. So that's something new you can look forward to um, next year. Mm -hmm. So any plans from you, Jen? Um, so for this month, the no new starts November thing. Mm -hmm. I have one whip from that I started last year that I haven't touched yet. So that will fit in with the November. And also I I did start my freebie so I can do some more on that as well. Mm -hmm. So th those two. Um, and then I think the birthday stitch along is the um, Blackbird design. So I could do some more. Um, mm -hmm. um, you can, yes, it is Strawberry lovely. fields. Lovely. Well, I'm not. And 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 doing my thread order and and yes. I, I've I've sort of written some lists of threads I need to buy because there's another one of the other things that I'd like to start. I've got some of the drawn thread garden mm -hmm. patterns, the the long thin ones, and they actually use there there is a DMC conversion but they also use some of the specialty threads so i thought i can go through and have a look to see as you have i've got some silks for you oh. unlabeled or some of the ones that we've got with the um the sassy pouch and oh. see if any of those colors will work as comparable ones and then buy whatever else i need yeah oh that's good i, think I have the pattern fun. and the material i just need the threads Yes. Well, that's good. One order will get done. Just got to get it get it together sooner rather than later because it will take a while to come. Yes. Um, I'm not doing November because I'm too busy. <laughs> and I, I mean, tonight, for example, I have to finish that model stitch so I can get it photographed and sent off. I also am in a challenge in one of my games, the survival of the stitchiest, and I am meant to be doing another 18, 1,200 stitches tonight. Ooh. Not going to happen, but I want to try and get closer if possible. So I need to go and work on that after I've done the family dinner and everything else. So, um, yes, time's of the essence tonight. And apart from that, uh, big news. I don't know if I said it last week. I am getting ready to launch the Paddock Lane Designs website. So I've got to get some work done on that this week. Um, in my my like family life, we don't talk much about family, but... My son's school got closed because of a COVID case on Friday. Ooh. And then we received notification yesterday that he's classified as a close contact. Yeah, he's only been back for, what, two weeks? Um, so I imagine someone in his class. And that now means that because he had his, he actually, he wasn't at school on Friday because he's having his second vaccination. And I knew his arm was going to hurt, so he's having the day off anyway. But he... Um, isn't 14 days post that vaccination. So he now has to isolate for 14 days at home. Right. And get a COVID test, presumably. And get three COVID tests. <sighs> so um, the good thing about that, though, is that as his prime carer, um, I'm, I have to, I don't have to isolate totally because I am double vaxxed, but my double vaccination only actually hit in today. So it's about two days early for my double. Um, so basically the advice is that I don't attend any high risk situations. So no non-essential shopping and no going, well, the one that's relevant to me is to primary schools. Oh. So I'm going to have to take care of leave this week, which means two more days to work on my business or stitching. So <laughs> I'm actually not too sad about that. 
but I do hope my son is fine. I think he will be fine. But, you know, the first tests come back negative. So right. um, fingers, fingers crossed. But that's the way things are at the moment in Australia. Yep, yep. Well, for me, I just keep having things either double booked, as in last weekend was Mittagong and the Scout thing, or back to back. So this week on Tuesday, I've got my body corporate AGM immediately followed by a Scout leaders meeting. Um, I've... I've, I've had my first two Christmas party invitations for the same day. Yeah. SES Christmas party and Scout Leaders Christmas party. And really, why, why is everything all like, you have all so many weekends. Why can't it all be spread out? Oh, dear. Well, we were meant to go back to, to Scouts and Cubs tomorrow. But, um, ah. well, I think they're going back without me, um, which is okay because they'll be down a few in numbers because my team mm. won't go. Yeah. And but I won't be there now for another two weeks. So there'll probably be only three weeks left by the time I get back there. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, not to worry. And yeah. before we know it, it'll be the December. I know. All right. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much all we've got time for tonight. Um, we hope you have a great week of stitching. I did do my numbers. Did you do any numbers? Yeah. Um, yes, but it's... It, it's not my worst month, but it's nowhere near my best month. It was only about 950 stitches That's for the month, which which is ridiculous compared to how much Lisa gets done in a week. But Yeah, but Lisa's different to you and has different priorities. I, I will tell you that Scary Halloween makes me finish number 36 for the year. Wow. Yeah. Um, and we've still got almost two months left. And th finish number 37 will probably be coming tonight. Yes, yes. But that is only 22, like, real whip finishes, uh -huh. and that's 14 model stitches. Ah, okay. And some of them were your little tiny ones. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. But they all counted. Yeah. But they're, um, yeah, I mean, I had an allowance of model stitches of six. <laughs> so I've... I'm, I'm, I'm glad that my business is going great and I need to do more model stitches, but um, yeah, it totally annihilated my things, but they all count to me. They still count as finishes because they're yeah. they yeah. starts and finishes. So I'm really happy with, with how that's tracking. And mm. then I'll, yeah, I'm not sure if I told you guys my monthly numbers and I'm not saying this to put Jenny down at all. Um, <laughs> I stitched totally differently. I didn't have, I had my second best month ever. Wow. Um, so 22,649 for last That's more than I've done for the whole year so far. But these numbers are really good because getting ready for No New Starts next year and one of the fun events we're doing is a journey around the United States visiting all the stitching shops and it's a road travel and you stitch your way around and it's going to be super fun. It got launched today, so if you're interested, you know, get on and have a look. Um, but you've got to decide how you're going to travel. Now, Jenny is a great scouter. She will be in a tent. In fact, I dare say Jenny might even not even be in a tent. She might just be in the um, in the swag outside the tent. <laughs> now, swag is probably going to be one of one, if not the Australian word of the week. A swag is like a bedroll. Yes. Would you like to describe a swag more clearly because you would have more in-depth knowledge about one than me, Jenny? Okay, so these days a swag is it's a lot more fancy than it used to be. Um, basically, it's a one-person sort of tent and mattress all in one. Um, you can sometimes get double swags, but yeah, so it's 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 a thickish mattress. It's it's sort of in a canvas like little tray, and then a little tent bit over the top, and it rolls up to. I mean, it's it's a fairly sizable kind of thing. But it's it's bed and tent all in one. And and yeah. and in the olden days, your swag used to just be like the mattress with the cover on it, um, yeah. usually made of like a, a thick waterproof canvas or something. And you just roll it out the back of your ute. And I have told you before that a ute is a truck. The yes. American friends, um, you just sleep in the back of your ute out in the open under the stars, or under under the trees um, on the grass, whatever. You just lay out in the open and um, hope no creepy crawlies climbed in it in the middle of the night. <laughs> So, yes. yes, and no drop bears drop down from the trees because you don't want that to happen either. Um, but, you know, we're Australia. Everything's deadly and we still survive. Yep. Um, so there you go. I don't know if you had another word of the week, but um, that was just one that was that, top. That one will do. Yeah. 
So there yeah. you go. There's your word of the week. Um, so yeah, Jenny might be in a swag, not quite a tent, but um, the way to think about it, and we are going to have a live question and answer next um, next Saturday. I'm not sure if it's Saturday Night American or Friday Night American, but um, and people can jump on and, and ask as many questions as they want in person of the admins, but um, and that'll be on the No New Start Soon channel. But um, basically, it's to try and make it so that we can travel. You do your own pace, but we want people to try and travel together. So, for example, and I'm totally making these numbers up, Jenny, as a tenter, might need to stitch 50 stitches to get from here to there. And someone who is in a luxury RV might do 400 stitches. And I'm in a, a hotel. They've decided I'm a hotel flopper. So I might have to do, you know, 600 stitches to get there. So it's just to try and keep it even and, and to suit your stitching style, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. Lots of fun. All right, guys. So until next time you see me, happy stitching. Yeah. Bye.